What is going on, my fellow outdoor enthusiasts? I had a bit of an interesting morning. I tried to find a lake down a logging road, but missed it completely. So I ended up driving for an hour, made my way back, found the lake, but then noticed that I forgot the motor to my little boat, which I packed up. Thankfully, I had my kayak, so I got in my kayak, got out there, did about 50 minutes of trolling in the kayak. The wind was so strong, I got jostled around, and then finally I snagged a bush. Well, guys, this is what you call an A1 cluster. So I snapped my fly line off, which was a bit of a piss off. Oh, jeez. Went back to shore, put all my stuff back in the truck, and now I've found a nice little area that's calm. So it should be a good area to fish, and fish usually like to sit at the mouths of other rivers. Now the great thing about these kayaks, the inflatable ones, they're very light. There's a bit of a current, but nothing too ah. crazy. Let's go for a little paddle. This is freaking lovely, guys. I'm not seeing much fish activity, so we're gonna get back going down here. Oh, it's a huge tree. I can see the tree. Well, so far I've had one fish on, lost in about 30 seconds, and I just caught a beautiful stick. Just taking it all in. That's what it's all about. Still not raining, which is cool too. Look at that guys, there's a bear right across from me watching me fish. Come here bear. Hey bear. Not phased by me at all. You know how much people would pay for this kind of bear viewing? Always coming closer. I wasn't catching many fish today and the weather really hasn't been cooperating. But I did get to hang out with a bear and I'm still hanging out with a bear, so uh, that's pretty cool. Well, it was really fun watching that bear. I wasn't getting a ton of bites over in that side. I mean, I didn't fish for too, too long. I'm gonna go around the corner, do some casts over there. There he is again. Look at this bear. I literally look away for a second and he's in a new spot. Like bears are real, real sneaky conniving guys. He's doing the same thing as me. He's looking for fish to eat. Oh, he's gonna fall again. Oh. I believe I can fly. That is interesting. Well, he's gonna pop up again. He always seems to. Four eagles circling around here too. Just about where the bear was. They must be eyeing something too. Anyways, let's go try and head to a different zone. This is turning into quite the paddle. Looking at the map, there's another little uh, kind of river type thing that happens over here. We have successfully found the shore uh, and where the river connects. So we're gonna go for a little hike. So my little uh, idea of heading to the, <laughs> the next river didn't prove to be successful. Back onto the back pain boat. No water, nada. That's how we roll. No water, no food, no fish. No nothing. Just fun. And we're off. So this time, on the way out of here, it looks like we're facing a little bit of a headwind. Oh, we're making waves, baby. My shoulders are burning. Yep, 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 yep. Can I get a hiya? Can I get a hiya? Getting pretty hungry, so I'm gonna fire up some good old Campbell soup. Cheers. And 
now that I'm rested, refilled, and rejuvenated. It's time to sit my ass back down in that kayak and actually link into some fish. Let's do it. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Well, I tried to fish again and I got skunked. And since I got skunked, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna find a really nice campsite. I saw some four by fouring roads. So as per usual, I went four by fouring and, uh, and I'm in this super tight road. And my truck, as you know, is super long and super wide. So uh, roads like this aren't necessarily its best friend. So I really gotta make sure I don't rip my mirrors off. Hopefully I can find a turnaround and a sweet campsite that I can, uh, that I can spend the night at. Um, that's always the goal, you see like a tight, you know, four by four road and you're like, oh, there must be a sweet campsite at the end. But I've fallen into that trap one too many times. Oh my God, guys, look at this, I've done it. What a beautiful campsite, worth the rip, worth the drive. This is gorgeous, man. Whoa, I'm gonna get myself spinned around. Nice. Well, ladies and gents, I got skunked on the water today, but I did not get skunked at finding an unreal camping spot. Look at this, I got the truck backed right in here. Super rogue, can make dinner right with the water. Unreal. Someone's even made stairs. Sometimes when you drive, you find stuff awesome, and sometimes when you drive, you find stuff not so awesome. But this time, it was a success. I've got like a one in five hit rate. Usually I just turn around and go like, why the hell did I do that? But this is awesome. I'm gonna back the truck right up into here so I get that nice water view while I'm cooking. We're gonna end this video on a high. I'm stoked I found this campsite. It's gonna be the perfect spot to crash tonight. Clocking out for the day. Thanks for coming along, it was lots of fun. Go exploring, go adventuring, play around outside this week. There's nothing better in the summertime and the sunshine is starting to come out. Keep on fishing, keep on hiking, keep on shredding, keep on doing whatever you're doing and have lots of fun outdoors. I'll see you next time.